my little protege. Yes. <laughs> One of many, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you describe how you got involved with what are you doing? Stop me when I go on too long. Two, two because, minutes. Uh, two minutes. It, it's a pleasure to be here this evening. Not only did I drive Iqbal up from Bristol, but it's the first time we've had to have a conversation in oh, several months, so we had a lot of catching up to do. But the only reason that I've you know, become this um, tireless filmmaker and publicist for the Palestinian injustice is because quite a few years ago, my elderly mother, just around there, then, she'd always wanted to go on a Holy Land tour before she passed on. And she wanted her son to come with her. Oh. And, sorry, I, I'm an atheist, and it wasn't really top of my list of things to do. How wrong I was, as I learned so much from um, being on Joe's tour, and not that she forced it on people, she was actually extremely neutral and extremely fair and factual in everything she said, but when you pointed something out, why are those cars parked by the side of the road? Why are those people having to get out of the cars and go between those concrete blocks to go somewhere else? And we've just driven straight through on the road. What's it all about? And that was before the wall, that was before a lot of dreadful things had happened. Things were still fairly light touch in the West Bank. I mean, bad at the time, but not so bad compared to what's happening now in the West Bank and Gaza.